Hey friend, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video. So to my amazing supporters, thank you guys so much for all of your amazing support. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Hey, my name is Christina, nice to meet you. Uh, so today is Tuesday, October 18th. It's currently 7.19 p.m., y'all. And I know it's later than usual when I would like probably film a video or whatnot. Um, as y'all can tell, this is a get ready with me video. That's gonna just be like the main theme of my channel because I realized um, actually like just before I filmed this video, it's something that I literally do every single day. So I have like a to-do list to keep myself on track daily um, and I update it every day. And I have like these basic things that I literally do every single day like it's a part of my daily routine and as y'all can see right here it says get dressed for the day because I usually get dressed every single day whether I'm going somewhere whether I'm not whether I'm going out the house whether I'm doing something around the house like showering and getting dressed for the day is just a part of my routine because I feel like there's something about like getting ready that just like um it just helps, you know, it makes it easier sometimes for you to get done what you need to get done or whatnot. Um, so yeah, today was actually like a challenging day for me. It didn't start off like the way that I wanted to. Like I had a really like challenging morning, rough morning. So that's why I still haven't gotten dressed for the day. I actually have my um workout clothes on because I'm about to get a workout in real quick again i did not get the best start on my day um but regardless once i finish my workout i'm gonna shower and i'm just gonna throw on some super comfortable clothes i was trying to look for my pajamas but they're in the wash so i can't show y'all my pajamas that i'm gonna put on but i'm gonna just throw on some really comfortable clothes because i'm gonna be inside for the rest of the night um and i wanted to shoot this video i feel like it's gonna be really good this topic as y'all can tell by the title is about mental health and like dealing with what i was dealing with what i dealt with like this afternoon i just feel like this was the perfect topic to touch on because i'm gonna be able to be like a lot more transparent with you guys a lot more open with you guys about certain things um so yeah i'm about to go get a workout by the time done working out hop in a shower throw on my fit and you know i'm gonna show you how basically i get ready to go to bed if i'm going to bed so yeah that's gonna be fun um to share with y'all and to talk about mental health at the same time so stay tuned and i'm gonna see y'all in the next part of the video hey friends so i am back y'all it is currently 9 12 p.m um i finally got out the shower i finally got to finish working out and stuff like that as i told y'all it's pretty late i'm about to lotion my face while i talk to y'all and probably put my bonnet on throw on some deodorant or whatever um so yeah in this video as i told y'all we are going to talk about mental health and the importance of it because i really feel like it's a super duper important topic to talk about and then I'll show y'all like my comfy outfit that I'm wearing right now in replacement of my pajamas but I'm gonna show y'all at the end of the video since it's like get ready with me y'all my nose here is also growing back so I definitely need to shape that um but yes y'all I am gonna talk to y'all about mental health let me just Throw on my deodorant, y'all. This one smells so good. I love the smell of it. If y'all ever want to know like what products and stuff I use for certain things, y'all can always check like the description box of my video. I'm also gonna put on this sleeping night oil. Um, I really, really love it. I found it at TJ Maxx, but I think it's also available online. But it's been like more expensive online but regardless i love it i'm running low on it but um i use it all the time like especially the times when i know i'm gonna have trouble like sleeping or whatnot um 
I use it. So, yeah, I just put it like on the nose area of my face. And just rub it in. Remember in my last video I told y'all that, um, remember in my last video I told y'all, what did I tell y'all? Oh, that like in the winter time, especially like as the season starts to change and it gets a bit colder, um, my face tends to get like drier. So sometimes I have to just put extra to keep it um, hydrated and stuff like that. So oh, I almost forgot about my bonnet. My bonnet's bonnet. Because um, I don't feel like I need to have my hair out for real, for real. My edges are still laid from yesterday, by the way. So I didn't have to lay them again. That's another thing I told y'all that I like about, um, that's another thing I told y'all that I like about uh, Got To Be is that you, it can last like a good two days if you let it. So I like it. All right, so enough of me talking um, about the get ready part. We're about to get into the mental health part. So for starters, I wanna read to y'all what is mental health. Um, so as y'all can see, mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make healthy choices. So I feel like the same way, like how, you know, we go to the doctors for a checkup. Like sometimes you need to go to someone for a checkup. You need to check in with yourself and see how you're doing and see if there's things that's affecting you and see if you need to unpack some things because that's what I had to do earlier um, today. I was like really going through it this morning, like some things that happened um, like a few months ago, they're still affecting me and I didn't realize, I didn't think they were. So I texted one of my best friends, one of my really, really good friends. She's like a sister to me. And I was just like, girl, we gotta talk because like, an hour went by and I was still like just going through it emotionally. I was sad. I was crying because for me, like sometimes like when you go through stuff, it's like you don't realize how they're going to affect you. And when you have to change your thinking, change the way you look at it, it could be really challenging. And that's where you need a friend. That's where you need somebody to talk to. That's where you need someone to like unpack stuff and just let it out. Talk it out because sometimes I think in my overthinking video, I told you like if you're in your own head for too long, it can really like mess with you. So you also have to know yourself like, I need a mental health checkup. I'm not really doing good right now and I need to talk to someone. Just like a physical checkup, right? Like everybody have a physical checkup once a year. We should have a mental checkup like once a month, you know, to make sure that we're doing okay. And if we're not doing okay, what can we do to fix it? What can we do to be better? Just like when you go to the doctor, you have a physical and they're like, you know, this is wrong or your iron is low and they prescribe you like, you know, vitamins maybe to take to increase your iron. I feel like it's the same thing when you're going through it mentally, you have to know to talk to someone. And my friend, she was like so encouraging, so uplifting. I was like, I'm so grateful that I have her to just talk to her to unpack because there's certain people like you know there's different I feel like everyone serves a different purpose in your life you know yes you could talk to your parents but um you can't talk to your parents about everything. You know, there's a boundary that you have to set. Just like your parents can't talk to you about every single thing. You know, your spouse, you can't talk to your spouse about every single thing. There's a boundary. There's some things that, like, I feel like if you're in a relationship, you need your homegirls to talk to. You need your homeboy to talk to sometimes. Like, you need a male perspective sometimes on things. You need a female perspective sometimes on things. You need a friend perspective sometimes on things. You know, you need to talk. I feel like the power and the importance of like talking to someone is when you can 
like tell them hey I'm thinking this and they can talk to you and help you combat that negative thought that you're thinking or those negative feelings those negative emotions that you are going through so that's like my take on mental health I feel like being healthy mentally is just as being it's just as important as being healthy physically you know for a long time like you know people just every a lot of the time you get checked up on more physically than you do mentally but i feel like over the past few years like mental health has become a huge topic of discussion you know especially for my generation and the generation that's like coming up and i'm happy about that i love that you know because i feel like it's just for a long time it wasn't something that was talked about you know you feel like am i crazy am i human is this a taboo like am i is my mind playing tricks on me but it's like no sometimes you really have anxiety sometimes you really have things that you know stress you out or that makes you fearful or that makes you concerned you know, you know and you just and need, you to need to figure, figure out, out the best the way, way to way deal to with it you know you like know, for like me, for me I feel like for a long time, and I told y'all like we're getting transparent here, I want to just open up and share like more of who I am with you guys. So for a long time, I feel like I didn't really have like solid friends or people that I could trust or people that I could talk to. Like I feel like there was people I could talk to and then I hear my business somewhere else that I didn't want it to go. You know, but over the past few years, I feel like I've been blessed to establish friendships where I could tell my friends something and they don't tell nobody. And I feel like that's a blessing. I feel like I'm grateful for that. So now mentally, I'm in a space where like I have to get used to having friends like that where if i'm going through it if i'm going through something i can hit them up and be like hey sis i need you right now hey i need this this and this like you could talk to them you know what i'm saying so that's one of the things that i was going through mentally and i was like man like my sister will be mad at me if i like if i'm going through it and i don't talk to her about it you know she, it, it, it wouldn't be cool so just the same way like i've been there for her she's like you know she want to be there for me and that i just think it's a blessing it's important when it comes to your mental health having an outlet having someone to talk to whether it's a therapist whether it's your spouse whether it's a friend whether it's your pastor like just having someone to talk to and having you know as i said like sometimes it's challenging you can't um talk to one person about every single thing but you gotta know who's the best person to go to about different categories about different areas of your life and take care of your mental health guys it's very important i know it's not easy sometimes you can neglect it but i definitely believe that you should take care of it um if if mental health is not something you've ever like looked into i feel like you should look into it because it will help you it's very um it's very therapeutic i would say and it's very important i feel like just the same way you check your physical body, you know, you go to the doctors, you see if you have lumps or anything for breast cancer. Check your mind and see what's triggering your anxieties, what's triggering your insecurities, what's trigger triggering you feeling overwhelmed. So take care of your mental health, guys. Talk to somebody if you need to. Seek a therapist, seek a professional help. Talk to a friend, talk to a family member. Don't continue to like bottle stuff in. That's something that I used to do for a long, 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 long time until someone talked to me and they told me like, it's not healthy for you to bottle stuff in, to keep stuff in. If you can't talk to me, talk to this person. Talk, like find somebody that you could talk to. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I wanted to share with y'all on like mental health. Comment below if you feel like you have struggles when it comes to your mental health, like some challenges that you face, some struggles that you face, and how do you deal with it? I'm realizing the best way to deal with it is to talk to someone sometimes and to just seek help. Like it's okay to seek help. There's nothing wrong with that. Seeking help doesn't mean that you're weak. Seeking help doesn't mean that you're incapable. Seeking help is okay. Like it's nothing wrong with that. And that's something that I'm coming to realize. I'm coming to accept. I'm realizing that I don't have to do everything on my own. Yes, it's cute to be independent, but 
even the most independent person like they need people too you know what i'm saying and you have to know when you need people so that you don't crash so that you don't burn so that you don't give up on whatever it is that you're trying to pursue so that's pretty much all i got for y'all comment below i love y'all so much i appreciate y'all thank you to my amazing supporters every single person that support me just know that i really really appreciate y'all and one of the things that i'm also start doing um on my channel because i feel like um it's a it's a very popular feedback i have gotten and i want to help my supporters out because i love y'all and i appreciate y'all so um on i be telling y'all to comment below all the time and i assume that everybody knows how to comment below but they don't and that's completely okay if you don't know how to comment below i don't have a problem teaching y'all i don't have a problem showing y'all so i'm going to i'm on my youtube channel right now and i know y'all can see this so let's say you want to comment on my video you just click comments and then right here where it says add a comment oops anyways right here where it says add a comment you type in whatever comment hold on real quick where it says add a comment right here this is if you're doing it from your phone you click add a comment and then you just type in, hey, all y'all gotta do is say hey. So I know that y'all watching the video, like y'all don't gotta say too much or whatever. And then you click this little airplane right here and it will post a comment. So that is how you would comment on my video. I'm gonna be showing y'all probably in every single video so that y'all know, cause I wanna help y'all out. I gotta know who y'all are. Cause when I know who you guys are, I know how to tailor my content. I know how to be more relatable i know what stories to share i know what to open up about more of because i know who my audience is so um yeah and then as far as the liking is concerned i know it's pretty self-explanatory you just hit the like button um it's kind of hard to show y'all how to subscribe i'm gonna figure that out in the next video and then show y'all how to subscribe but i appreciate y'all uh, i'm gonna show y'all my comfy fit um my comfy outfit for in the house and then we're gonna wrap this video up so this is what i'm wearing y'all i got this hoodie on something light leggings because i don't got pajamas on it's kind of chilly in the house and then i got these super cute hold on i got these super cute um house socks uh, one of my friends got me them as a Christmas gift, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that's my outfit for tonight, y'all. I'm just about to edit these videos, as I told y'all, because I want to grow my channel. I want to achieve my dreams, my goal as being um, a inspirational YouTuber. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Anything that y'all going through right now is going to be fine. It's going to be all right. It's just a season in your life. Every single thing is temporary. Just keep thugging it out. Keep going. And when you get through whatever you're going through, you'll be able to use it as motivation to get through something else or to even help somebody else get through what they're going through, which is why I personally feel like that's why I go through so much so that I can help other people go through it. I hate going through that stuff. Half the time, I wish life was just peaches and creams, pineapples all day, just laying in the sun, chilling. I wish that's how life was, but it's not. And that's okay. You know, so I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Thank y'all for listening to me. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much. Bye.